Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is... Is it time for Rajon Rondo to start for the Clippers? So that's the topic I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when videos come out. Sometimes people miss videos when they come out because YouTube doesn't send out videos. So make sure you hit the notification bell. Let me get into the video. I've done my long spiel here. Let me get into the video. So all season long, the Clippers have been in search for a great point guard. During the offseason, this was one of the things that the Clippers needed to add to their team. They were able to, Clippers had a, some, a few things they needed to add. They needed to add a skilled big man that can stretch the floor, in which case they were able to add uh, Serge Ibaka to the roster, which was an upgrade, in my opinion, to Montrezl Harrell. I love the Serge pickup. They needed to add, uh, um, add some good playmaking, a guy that has a, ba um, a high basketball IQ, uh, IQ basically a glue, a glue guy, a 3D guy as well. They were able to add or replace... Uh, um, um, what is it, John Michael Green with Nicholas Batum. He was so good in the beginning of the season that he ended up being a starter. That's also because Marcus Moore Sr. was was injured, right? But, you know, during the offseason, the other major piece that the Clippers also needed was a point guard. That was the other glaring spot uh, that this team um, sort of needed to, to, needed to address. Now, as the season kind of progressed, they had Patrick Beverly, who I like a lot, right? I like a lot. Uh, I like Patrick Beverly a lot. I liked his defense. I like his intensity that he brings to the team. He's definitely their mo emotional leader on the court. Um, you know, he gets guys riled up. He's always talking. So I like what Patrick Beverly brings to the Clippers. The only issue with Patrick Beverly is that he's always injured. That's the major drawback with Patrick Beverly. He's been injured for the majority of the season. I think he's missed about 30, over 30% 30 of the games that the Clippers have played this season so far. And that's that was an issue. Then their backup point guard, so to speak, was Lou Williams, a guy that I never trusted, right? I know a lot of uh, Clippers fans were very sentimental about about Lou Williams because he'd been there for I think four years or so. So a lot of late, uh, Clippers fans, you know, had an attachment to him. Me, on the other hand, I really didn't. I just recently kind of became a Clipper fan, maybe over a year ago when Kawhi Leonard moved to the team, and then I actually started liking the team. Um, you know, I, I like the team and kind of what they represent. I love their owner, so I really wanted to see the team do well, and I just felt like this guy wasn't the guy. He wasn't the point guard that the team needed or the backup point guard that the team needed to be able to win a championship. I didn't believe that he was a guy that was going to push him to the championship right and then you know some people felt a certain way about it but that's what I felt I never hit my feelings about that and I really never got over what he did in the Orlando bubble last season you know what happened y'all remember the story right I just I just couldn't get over that I couldn't get over that so the Clippers went out there and they were able to acquire Rajon Rondo or Rajon Rondo I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing his name right uh at the trade deadline the moment they made that trade, few people out there, some people out there said, listen, this team has is now really kind of completed their championship roster, right? And for me, I was excited about the Rondo pickup because number one, you you get rid of uh, Lou Williams, who I never liked, never trusted. And then you replace him with one of the smartest point guards in the NBA, or probably one of the smartest players to ever play uh, the point guard position in the history of basketball. Uh, in Rajon Rondo, right? Two-time champion, multiple um, 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 assist leader in the NBA. Very, very smart guy, right? Very, very, very smart basketball player. And then they went out there and got him. And also they picked up the Marcus Cousins, but now we're focusing um, 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 on Rajon Rondo, right? But for so many reasons, I think Rajon Rondo should be the starter for this team. Number one, he is easily their best passer. Like, it's not even close. Rajon Rondo is by far the best passer on the Clippers roster. I don't even think it's a close question, uh, a, a, a close race. Then if you look at some of his passes he was making last night, some eye-popping passes. I was like, he was hitting some guys in their spot. If you look at, um, uh, what's his name, uh, Peterson coming off the bench, he was hitting them with some passes on the move. I was like, wow. he was. Hit. You saw the last play that he hit Kawhi Leonard when he was cutting to the basket, hit him for the shot to get the dunk, the and one. And I was just like... This guy's incredible. He could hit some timely three pointers. Some people, or some people, a little bit. Some people have some reservations about Rajon Rondo being a starter because they're like, "Well, wait a minute. If he starts, he's not really a good shooter." But Rondo has shown the ability 
to step out there and hit the three point shot. Now, if I look at his numbers this season, now this is a this is a sample size, right? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's I mean, where he's only played what three games for the Clippers, so we're not going to take too much, make too much of it. But in the three games that he's played for the Clippers, right, he's already doubling the points that he averaged with the Atlanta Hawks. So Atlanta Hawks, he was averaging three point nine. Now he's averaging about six point three. He's shooting. He's already improved his uh, field goal shooting. He went from shooting forty percent with the Hawks to forty seven percent with the Clippers for the three as a three point shooter with the Atlanta Hawks. He was shooting 37.8%, let's just say 38%, but he was averaging 1.7 uh, three-pointers per game. With the Clippers, he's actually averaging more three-pointers, averaging two three-pointers a game, making one. So he's actually hitting 50% of his threes, and something that Rajon Rondo had never really been good at early in his career as a free-throw shooter. With the you know with the, with the Atlanta Hawks, he was shooting 50%. With the Clippers, he's shooting 100%, but now it's, obviously it's only three games. That number is going to drop down by a lot. But he's also getting you two assists. I mean, two. Uh, two rebounds but 4.3 assists for the clippers 4.3 assists already basically coming off the bench for this team so if you watch the game last night you could immediately you could immediately see that Rajon Rondo was already making a major impact. I was listening to some of the comments uh, that he had during the uh, post game, and he was able to. He, uh, the other team called out an, uh, you know, they, they they throw out an audible a play, and he was able once he heard them call the play, he knew what the play was because he saw them run it the night before. This is according to him, and then he he passed the information on to his team, and they were, and, they were, and they were able to thwart that play. And I was just like, what? Like this is the guy that the Clippers have on their roster. So listen, after last night's game. To me, it became very, very clear. I was saying this all throughout the live chat last night. After last night's game, it became very, very clear that, listen, I think Rajon Rondo should be the starting point guard for the Clippers moving forward. I love Patrick Beverly. I love the defense that he plays. But at certain points in that game, when even when Patrick Beverly was on the floor, their offense became very stagnant. I was saying this in the live chat last night. I'm like, they're having issues. I think it was around that third quarter and that fourth quarter. I don't remember when. They were having issues running their sets. They just couldn't. Like It's like they were stuck in mud. They really couldn't get into their into the flow of the offense and i was just like this is not what the team needs right you're trying to catch the the, the phoenix suns you're, you're closing in on them and you just can't run their play you can't run your plays properly now i think the clippers they were very sloppy in that first half but their three-point shooting really kept them in the game but whenever ronda was in the game it was just a completely different game when patrick beverly went out with that flagrant one foul they brought in Rondo. Everything was smooth sailing from them you saw the plays he was making that timely three-pointer shot the uh, three-point shot he made and guys in their spots. I mean, it was just beautiful to watch. So for me, apart from Kawhi Leonard, he's the second guy I trust the most on that floor to make the right decision. Because let me tell you something. Every prototypical point guard knows when knows when every group every elite point guard knows when to pass and when to shoot. And Rondo does that the best of any clipper on that roster right if you look at all the point guards they have patrick beverly some may say terrence Mann, some may say reggie jackson you look at rondo he's the best so for me i think it, i think he should start to be quite honest with you uh, to be quite honest with you and i think uh patrick beverly should come off the bench right that's just my opinion now maybe at different times tyron lou is going to use uh patrick beverly to put him on very uh, on you know guys that like to score a lot like Devin Booker, but listen, I think the overall package that Rajon Rondo brings to this Clippers team, I would just be happy to see him be the starter of the team. So that's what I think. So what I want to know from you guys is a very simple question: Do you think Rondo should start for the Clippers? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Make sure you also hit the join button to join the channel. It's under the video here. You where you see the join button. Make sure you go ahead and hit the join button. So whenever we go live, we you, we can definitely see your comments easier. And if you have any comments or questions that you really desperately need it, need answered, when if, once once you remember, I'll do my very best to answer all of your questions. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.